Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Go ahead and subscribe if you are new by the way because we have fun on this channel. We serve looks, you know what I'm saying? We keep it real over here so just go ahead and subscribe and thank you. But today we're going to be doing another soft glam look. Um, you guys really seem to like it and ask for more. I don't mind, you know. I really do soft glams on a regular so... I guess now because I'm calling it a soft glam, y'all are not bored. But before when I was doing it, y'all said you want to call it. You know, I'm just not going to go there today. But anyways, um, as you can see by the thumbnail, it was inspired by a look that Patrick Ta did. And in the picture, she is a Caucasian woman. So a lot of times people think like, oh, we can't achieve the same kind of soft glam. Or we're just like as black women should I just say, we're stuck to one style of makeup, which is not the truth, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes they'll see that and be like, oh, that's not gonna work on me because I'm too dark. Like, no, we can still serve looks. We can we can do it all. We Black Girl Magic, hello, have you ever heard of that? Okay, thought so. But anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to recreate that look, how to adjust things, how to make them look, you know, melanin friendly. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. As you can see, I am bare faced and I'm gonna go in with my brows. I'm gonna do that off camera and voila. Now I'm going in with my concealer and I'm putting that all over my lids just to have like a a clean base a nice smooth base for my eyeshadow and I'm going straight into my Jackie Anna palette if you guys watched my last soft glam tutorial you would know to set your eyelids with a translucent powder which is what I forgot because I don't do that in my normal routine but it would have made such a difference the look would have came out so much softer I felt like it was kind of harsh but we're gonna push through so I'm going in the shade ginger which is like a true transition shade for me it's like a bronzer shade which you can use a bronzer if you don't have this palette and I'm just dragging that down towards my nose because I like the the shape that it gives my eyes and the illusion that it gives just everything just kind of ties in together if you don't get it check the link below and that has my last soft glam tutorial it was super in-depth and just tells you all the tips and tricks that you need to know next I'm going into the shade edges and it's a little bit more on the warm side I'm just putting that in the crease as well but I'm keeping it on the outer edge and then I'm just buffing it out as much as I can. Now going to, into the shade Credit, I'm going to take that and make sure I'm just applying that to my outer V. And as you can see, the way I'm applying the eyeshadow is literally a diagonal line. I'm not shaping my eye, I'm not going in the crease, I'm literally doing a diagonal line. This is going to give the illusion of a wider eye. When I apply my lid color, it's just going to look a lot more open. So. That works for my eye shape. This may not be everybody. This technique may help you out, but it's just a tip. Um, I actually originally got this tip from Time the Infamous. She used to do it all the time when she did like super dramatic looks. But um, yeah, it just really helps. But um, as you can see, I applied my glitter primer and I use this shade. I've kind of skipped over this because the shade was not the right shade. It was from the Huda Beauty palette, but it was giving me more green, which I could have sworn when I first tried this, it was giving me an iridescent kind of vibe. So what I did was I went into my Pat McGrath palette and I took that shimmery gold color and I just placed that on top and it was perfect. Like it looks kind of green on camera, but it gives different shifts. So it's kind of like green then gold, then like a white gold. It's just really pretty. So I did that because I really didn't want like a super opaque or um, what's the word like thick eyeshadow I wanted something that was glittery and really iridescent so now I'm applying my eye cream by Olay Hankerson oh my gosh I almost had it <laughs> but I'm just applying that under my eyes because I really did like how I prep my skin that day because I tried to skip this the other day and my makeup just did not come out the same so maybe it is doing what it's supposed to do then I'm going in with my pixie moisturizer this moisturizer is amazing I feel like my foundation just glides on and 
it just makes my foundation look a lot more skin like so that's what I'm doing then I'm going in with two foundations today I want to use my Fenty and my Juvia's Place however I forgot to prime <laughs> so I'm gonna just rewind I didn't want to cut it out though you know what happens to the best of us so I'm going in with my pretty fresh primer by Colourpop as you guys know I love this I have not even touched my Fenty primer since I got this like I just love this so much and then I'm going in with my no my no pore blend primer by touch and soul or something like that will be listed below and I'm just putting that all over just to give my face a smoother effect and more um, poreless look you know so now we're gonna do the foundation you guys know the drill with the foundation pick a foundation that works for you whether you like a glowy foundation a matte foundation full coverage light coverage medium buildable whatever it is that you may like pick it use it do what it do everything is different for everybody like literally there's no one foundation that's gonna work for everybody so keep that in mind Once you've blended out your foundation, you're going to want to start concealing your face. So as you can see, this concealer is pretty much the same shade as my foundation, my skin tone, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like to use that under my eyes and around my mouth area because that's where I have a lot of darkness and I don't like to put too much foundation. I just feel like the consistency and coverage of a concealer is a lot better no matter what foundation you use. It's really weird. I just It just is what it is. So make sure that you're concealing, okay? So once you blend that out, you're going to want to go ahead and um, just keep blending out, I guess. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> And you guys, I've actually really been liking this cream contour situation. I don't know how long this is going to last, but it's just really been giving me life. I feel like I've been missing out. I just need to use the right product. But this Born This Way concealer is perfect for that and a little bit goes a long way. So I apply that and now I'm going to apply my highlight concealer. So this is going to be a little bit less than your actual concealer you put on earlier because you're just adding it for a brightening effect not so much for coverage you just want to give the illusion of a bright under eye you know snatch nose all that kind of stuff and then you're going to go ahead and blend everything out I like to use the sponge for my highlighted areas and then I like to use that Too Faced brush for my contour because it doesn't blend out my contour but it blends do you get what I'm saying like sometimes I feel like with creamy contour, it blends it away. It blends it, but it doesn't blend it away. There you go. So now everything's pretty much blended out and it's time to set but before you set you want to make sure everything is nice and smooth crease free all that so I'm taking my fit me powder which you guys know I have been loving it is so bomb it just has the perfect amount of coverage and just snatches and lifts my face like look at that like it's not a setting powder it's a it's a um, finishing powder so it has a lot more coverage which is what it is. I think that's what I like about it is that it's like setting it and giving me another layer. <laughs> so I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. So if you haven't bought this yet, get your little $5, sis. 
and go ahead. And now I'm taking my Born This Way powder and I'm just putting that all over to set my face because you guys know about the translucent powder trick. Heard it works, but I don't like flashbacks. So we're going to use a powder with a little bit of color in it, okay? And as you guys can see, I've posted plenty of pictures on Instagram, Twitter. If you're not following me, follow me now at Tasha Washo with three A's at the end. But um, I've taken plenty of pictures and I don't have flashback. Not under my eye, not on my face, nothing like that. So now I'm using my Coco Naughty by Fenty and I'm just bronzing my face. Now that it's getting colder and I'm staying inside and I'm getting paler, Coconati is perfect. It's everything I need. It's just everything plus more, okay? So just go ahead, snatch that nose some more. Take your time. Become the bad bitch that you are. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm just adding some Orgasm Blush by NARS. I'm using this because it has a sheen to it. So it's gonna give me a little bit of color. Look how red my neck is. That was so weird. My neck was getting so red. But anyways, I'm using that because I don't really like highlight on my face anymore. I would prefer um, just highlight on my nose and just take my time and snatch it up. But yeah, I do use a blush typically with a little bit of sheen to it. And I'm using my I Heart Revolution spray and just spray, 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 spray. And we're pretty much done. Oh, I'm lying. I did, I did my wing off camera because as you can see, I wanted it to be like, I wanted my wing to be going up and I wanted it to be really thin in the front. And then I had showed you guys my lashes, but then I changed the lashes and I didn't know what the lashes were because they were on my desk and I cut them and I, it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. So anyways, I basically did my, um, I tried to do my liner a little different. I don't know how it translated, I don't know. And then I took a regular pair of lashes, but I cut like the first two little sections of the lash and had it more at the end so it looked more winged out. And yeah, it's just, it, just you know, do what you do, okay? So of course I'm using Espresso Lip Liner, and then I'm using Nicki Minaj Pink Friday or something like that. It'll be listed below. And then a shimmery gloss. So that pretty much completes the look. Yeah, it was popping. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah. All right, guys. This pretty much completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super easy. You know, practice makes perfect. So if you guys keep following along with me, you guys will definitely get your makeup down. Like, everybody can do their makeup. It just takes practice and patience, okay? Period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.